Jack Thriller. Yo, yo, what's up going on, man? Hey, this is New Jack Thriller City, and we back, and I'm over here with my player partner, my homeboy, man. He hails from Inglewood, California, Ooh. one of the most funniest cats that I've ever met. He's a writer. He's a producer. You know, he's a game changer. He's a hell of a comedian. Uh, you done seen him on all the shows, because he probably wrote on all the shows, and he probably, you know what I'm saying, helped produce all the shows. <laughs> I'm put up for my uh, 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 partner in crime, there you go. my co-host uh -huh. on Wildin' Out. No, 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 we were co-stars. We co co co-stars, co -stars. but I would oh. never do a crime with you, nigga. You know how yeah. long it would take for us to get away? Come on. I'm over here, Jack. Fuck Oh, it. yeah, right, right. Run to my voice. Ah! <laughs> Give it up for Tyler Chronicle! Yeah. And it begins. Tyler, <laughs> what's going on, man? Hey, man, this room is crazy, just so you know, bro. I know you didn't really see what was going on right before you was up here, but it was some girls in here shaking it to a maximum level. I heard them With shaking. some leotards on. I know you heard their butts, them. but I know you couldn't yeah. see what was going on, but I hey, just want to tell you. I, I read the braille on their ass. Yeah, they, yeah you did. I, I braille their so. ass. Yeah, one of them looked like you. Ah! <laughs> I said, Jack Thriller hit twerk. Oh, never mind. Ah! <laughs> I know you didn't know that, so I had to put my phone oh, on yeah. game. But it was a girl, though, right? Yeah, for sure. I'm, I'm, like, I'm. Not again. <laughs> These motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. So what's that about? The transplants? No, no, no. What? The, 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 the twerking on the green screen. What you got oh, going on, oh. man? Shout out to my girl, Molly World. You feel me? Yes. Yes, yes 100%. Oh, um, that's um Jack Beauty of the Week. This is a segment. Jack Beauty. Oh, I do be seeing that. Yeah. Jack Beauty of the Week. You yeah. don't even know what they look like. Yeah. That's funny as but hell. But if they're here, they're beautiful. <laughs> if they're here, they're beautiful. Y'all niggas is hell, bro. Yeah. Who gets yeah. picked? I said, they, they, she cute, Thank right? I, I, asked, I asked five people. <laughs> nah. She cute enough, right? Man, you need new pickers is what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> oh, that nigga, don't tell me that. Please don't tell no, me that. I'm fucking around. You know this I, nigga here. You know how I get down, man. Hey, hey, let the roast in. Nah, I know. Hey, Jay. Molly! What's up? It's Jack Beauty of the Week. We turning up. Yeah, we got Candace over here today. Yes. How are you, girl? Did I'm great. <laughs> um, so where are you from? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. Ooh, Chicago. I was just up there. Gang banger. Uh, <laughs> former. Okay. What gang you was in? No. Shout them out. Shout no, out. no, no. Shout I'm just playing. People. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> We about, to, uh, we about to get Candace killed over here. <laughs> oh my gosh. What's your sign? I'm a Virgo. Oh, me too, girl. Oh! Yes, yeah, when's your birthday? Uh, September the 7th. Okay, I'm the 19th. We lit, turn up. Oh, we could have turned up this year for sure. Um, So, what do you do? Um, I'm a lash tech. Okay. And um, I specialize in lashes and brows. Okay, yeah. So, um, do you have a company for it? Yes, it's called Eye Candy and Company. Okay, and where is it located? Um, it was in um, off La Vista, but we're changing locations, and I'm gonna do a grand opening in September or uh, October. Okay, awesome. Yeah. So you stay you too. too, though, right? You you go to them if the price uh, is right. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. They come to me though if the money's right. There you go. That makes sense. Facts. I like it. That makes sense. I like that for sure. Um, so what's oh? Your lashes uh, look good too. Yeah, they do look good. They're on um, point. You know, yeah, hey, that be a thing, Molly. You know what I'm saying? When people be doing know. certain things, mm -hmm. and then they, they they shit don't be together. That's a fact. Her lashes are together. Her lashes are definitely together. And her hair. They're really not together, but thanks. Yeah. They look good. But your hair looks good, too, girl. It is. Um, so I have some random questions for you. Um, which is most important to you, money, power, or respect? Um... That's a good one. Yeah. I don't know which one to put. I would say. Do them in order. Or how you Do them in, in order. order. In, in order. Yeah. Uh, money, power, respect. I'm going to say money first because you'll be stressed out and, and, you know, impoverished if you don't have money. And then respect. Come on. And then you'll get the power with those two things. That's true. That makes sense. I'm not mad at that answer either. Um, do you have any hobbies? Hobbies. I just like to swim and um, run. A black person that can swim from Chicago. Yeah, okay. yeah. I love the, the water. Yeah, that's a fact. When you're on a yacht, you know you gotta swim. 
So you 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 going to pool parties this summer? Oh, I go to all the pool parties. I'm yeah. always in the water. But is you? Oh, you swimming though? You swimming? I always swim. You I do laps. Hair wet. I do laps. Yes, I get my hair wet. Oh, you showing yes. off? I just don't get this part wet. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I like that. But like yes, that. I get my hair wet. Okay, okay. I like that. She I mean, all the pool parties. Going to the next pool party with me for sure. Um, ooh, what's your relationship with your parents like? Um, ready about the, well, <laughs> both of them is uh, passed, so uh, no. rest in peace to them. Yeah, but I was really close with my dad, and I know I was loved by my mom too. He wasn't the closest, but they both, you know, were in my life. Heavily. Okay, do you think that has affected you also, like in your life, like with your business and stuff too, like making you motivated to keep going? Um, yeah, is yeah. Is it easy to make friends and let people in, or do you find it hard to have abandonment issues? Oh no, I don't have any. I'm loved by a lot, um, by many, and um, no, I don't. I I feel like I have discernment. So mm. you know, it's when you know what how to read people, you know how to let certain people in your life and who not. That's true. You better learn. I like that. Come on. I like that. For Literally. Sure. So I have a question. Obviously, you've had relationships before, right? Um, do you have a history of cheating or being cheated on? She was on um, cheaters before. No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Have I ever cheated? Yes. Um, How you do that, now, Candace? I usually do it at the end of the relationship, <laughs> but when I know I'm about to move on. But um, now in life, I would just like tell them like, "Oh, it's not working," and then move on. Yeah. And then as far as being cheated on, I think I'm a pro polygamist, so I think mm. a, a, many men cheat, and I'm not gonna stress myself out trying to figure out if a man is cheating. I feel that. I definitely feel that. That's good. Okay. It's about how they can, treat. Can you be cheated on if you um if you poly if you if you a polygamy a polyga person? Yeah, you probably can't. I mean, I guess che cheating doesn't it, the word doesn't exist in that context. I mean, if it doesn't to be if it's not communicated, yeah, that's basically cheating. Oh, you gotta tell you gotta, people like like yeah, hey, people. I'm about I to. I wouldn't go. even give a damn. I'm not about to try to figure it out neither. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. I don't, I don't know this side of Candace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so my last question is, um, if you could change one thing about your personality, what would it be? Oh, I think sometimes I'm too forthcoming. And, uh, what that mean? Like, I might tell, like, what I'm going to do, or I'm too, like, um, honest with people, and That's then me. it backfires. That's a Virgo thing for sure. That's <laughs> us. I, feel that. I don't want you to change that, though. No, I'm probably certain, not, but... certain situations, though, it definitely... It's yeah, a bad It could work against you. For yeah. instance, Molly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how could that work against you? Because you, you talk to women all the time. You talk to guys all the time. Yeah, West, but you're telling them your plans. They might try to get into your plans and ruin them. So that's how I could ruin the situation. Okay. So I definitely yeah. feel you on that. If Molly definitely. said it, I know it's true. <laughs> that's a fact. So where can they follow you at? Um, my IG is uh, Candace the Creator, um, C A N D A C E the Creator, and then my business page is I Candy and Company. Okay. Letter I Candy and oh, I Candy and Co. And Co. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you for having. I mean, thank you for coming. Yeah. Thank you for having me. <laughs> for sure. Check Beauty of the Week, Candace. Yes. That's, that's my bestie. Turn it. <laughs> You know, you used to have them real live porn stars on your junk, though. Come on, man. I used to want to be on that show so bad, Jack. Yo, Thriller, bro, I was so mad at Joan in the barbershop um, um, partying bullshit. Don't get mad, dog. It's it's over with. But shit, we can goddamn, we here now. We can do hey, something. Hey, bro, I, I, had to, I, had to, I had it on, on file a uh, long Bro, time. bro, you, you need me as a co-host so I can tell you what's happening. <laughs> you know <what> I am. <laughs> Come on, Thrill. Are you available even though? Bro, what's what you mean? I'm here, nigga. Okay, gotcha. Like I went through all this traffic, man. I had to stop at AutoZone. Nigga, my they, niggas wrecked my car. Oh shit. Come on, gang, they wrecked my car. You overheated too? Man, nah, I ain't overheat. You know what I'm saying? Got you, got you. My, my car was at the shop and a okay. nigga was running a field test on my whip and, and crashed my shit. Are you serious? Bro, I will show you the picture. Hey, this or, this but Huh? This happened. You was going to get your shit serviced. It was getting serviced. Nigga, crashed my shit. 
I'm a, I'm gonna send it to them so they can post it. What did they do for what did they do for you when when uh, Oh, it's, it happened yesterday, dog. Okay. Like literally. So they about to do something, though. They about to do something. Yeah, man. Is it going do you need a new car? Is it totaled out? It looked like it, dog. Yeah, I feel I feel like it is, man. Was he hot? Chewed up the whole side. I don't know. He better not be if he want to get his money. God. Cuz it wasn't his fault, though. You know what I'm a saying? nigga got into a car wreck and it wasn't his fault. It wasn't his fault and it wasn't his car, but you know what I mean, he worked for the company and if they piss him and he pissed clean, he going to get some bread. Cause they say he had whiplash and like he hurt his wrist on the air. the airbags came out the side airbags all that shit. That's... What kind of car is this, Tyler? It's a uh, GT AMG. Yeah, AMG 63. kit. You got the AMG kit on there? Yeah, I mean it's an AMG car. Like they, it got comes, you. I ain't like go get it. Got you. Yeah, man. Tyler, you getting a lot of money, bro? Hey, man, I am spending it. That's what niggas ain't talking about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Niggas love to say you getting money, but they ain't talking about where it's going. I'm in debt, thriller. <laughs> hey, hey. Are you, when you, nah, just fucking around. When you going hit that way, I know you. I know you, <laughs> I know you caked up. You super caked up. You writing for everybody. Got to. You, you opening up for the flyest motherfuckers. Yeah, man, it's my folks, man. Some, some, some old OGs and some young OGs, man. That's that's really getting to it, man. So I'm just a, glad to be a part of. And niggas got machines going, man. Word, yeah, man. Yeah, like shout out to B Simone, uh, Desi Banks. Mm -hmm. you know I'm saying niggas don't know his name is Desi, not Desi. That's crazy, right? You just put me on. <laughs> The whole time I would come. Yeah, yeah, been on the road with them, you know what I'm saying, here and there, and I'm, you know, trying to make sure I could double back and headline that bitch on my own, too. So that's 100%. So make sure so, I know that. And people tell people how important it is to make sure that you um, networking with the people. Nah, for sure, man. Go there, be nice to everybody. That's yeah. like, if you walk into the kitchen, say what's up to the cooks. You know what I mean? If you smoke weed, buy some weed for the nigga that's, that's selling weed there so they can remember you. Uh, uh, um, the owners, the manager, obviously, who's there, let them know what you got going on, show them your stuff, and, you know, be like, yeah, I'm going to have my manager contact you, and then go from there, dog. Every time, every single time. Shake mm. hands and kiss babies. Mm. Mm. So, how did you know that you wanted to even be a Hold on real quick. Why that one, though? Okay. <laughs> huh? No, you on the spot. You got your light. You got a camera. I know. Come on, man. Light my girl Phoenix hey, it's up. It's her birthday. It's her birthday. Show. Happy birthday. That's my girl, man. Yeah, DJ Phoenix's birthday. Yeah. Okay, so I'll let, I'll let you get that one off. Yeah, yeah. That's you, Cancer? All right, for sure. That's funny. Hey, every time you don't she, you don't understand some shit she doing, uh -huh. ask her about it. I will. Yeah, please. Yeah, I will. Ask her about it. Why, man. why did you do that? What, what, what was that choice about? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong button. I love it. You know I what I mean? I love it. Yeah, yeah. So, like, before you started writing and whatnot, uh -huh. like, how did you even get to the point where you stopped being selfish inside of your mind? Like, now nah, I'm going to keep this for me. Ooh, yeah. good question. Yeah. Hey, bro, I'll take my shit back if you don't pay on time. I'm like the real niggas. Like, I, <laughs> I'm like a real bill collector. Ooh, the money. <laughs> that part. That was a good one. Good call. Um, but, yeah, bro, like, I, I, you be like, yo, I'll pay you for this joke, and I get it to you. You got a certain amount of time. And then shit, I'll take it back and then we'll just see who they think just stole it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you feel me? That's how what type of time I'm on. Hey, but and niggas I... that know me know I ain't taking shit, so that's gonna be on you, partner. One hundred percent. Oh ma'am. Hey, 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 so like even when um would you call that you sold sold a joke or that you you lease jokes? I can't lease it if you don't pay at all. That ain't like at least like you gotta pay something up front to lease. So you're saying that you can you take payment plans for for jokes? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You ain't fin you ain't gotta pay me like right then, but uh -huh. if, if I give you something or you ask me, if you ask me to write you something, mm -hmm. that's a whole nother thing. That's that's like a paperwork situation. Mm -hmm. But say like say Hold like, on, do that again, do, do that again. So I, I need to understand this. So boom, I'm so hiring. like so thriller, you, you about to get a, you about to go on stage, you about to go yeah. on tour, right? Yeah, you like shit, I got some jokes, I need it punched up, yep. I need it, I yep. need the formatting, I need yep. to know where to put stuff. Yep. Can you help me out? Yep. All right. For you, I mean, I shouldn't say you, for a nigga. For a nigga, I'm gonna like, all right, boom, I'm gonna have somebody call you and we're gonna get that situated and okay. I'll start. For you, I'll just do it. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I mean? You have to pay. 100%. Cash app or some shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, you gonna let me cash app you too? Yeah, that type you, shit. You, you giving me I the... shouldn't put you in there, but I'm saying for somebody else, that's that's how it would go. But, like, okay. so say if, like, uh, Love you, man. it's just a nigga I fuck with or, yeah. or a comedian I know, let's say. A okay. comedian I know when I'm at a spot or we at a comedy club yeah. or whatever, and, you know, they looking for it. They like, I got this joke, I'm looking to punch it, da da da. You know. I give it to you, but you gotta pay. You okay, know, man. you gotta pay right then, though. No, it may make too much sense. Yeah, yeah. You gotta pay right then, and sometimes I sit by watching niggas set and write some stuff down and punch jokes or add jokes and shit like that. That's the best way to do it. That is. So you can that is that, that's the best way because you get a feel for yeah. how they're saying it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You what, turn into them. 
Yeah. Hey, Pretty much, you try to put yourself inside of their, their mind and like, and then also like, okay, this joke may work for me just because I say things a certain way. Like, boom, if you if you was to look at Mike Epps, if Mike Epps wrote his jokes out and you was to read them, you may not laugh that much. Mm-hmm. But the way he say everything. The way everything, he do it. The way he do it. The way he do it. You buy like Mike the joke, the joke, uh, why yeah. niggas run with the pistol down low yeah. like this. Yeah. It may be funny if you read it, but when nah. the nigga really like, why nigga run there with yeah. the pistol down low like this, the shit is much funnier. Because he do the voice, he has the inflection. You know what I'm saying? So you, know, you see yeah, a nigga doing the joke mm-hmm. and it's like all right um i this is how i can see them doing this joke that i thought of. right you know I mean? right right and, and um so that's a whole nother thing when you're writing for an animated comedian true true you know what you, I'm leave room, you leave room for act outs yeah you know what i'm saying a lot more room for act outs and you, and you feel comfortable just with pitching them you know just short kind of punch lines so they could get into their mm. their, their, their their self they get into their mode got you yes, sir yes, so sir. um how do you pinpoint who you are as a comedian when you're writing for different people all the time? Because you're writing in different uh, in different voices. Okay, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, do you do you even remember who Tyler Chronicles is? Oh yeah, as a yeah, comedian? yeah. I got to because you know what I'm saying. Like, it's literally when I'm writing for people, I'm literally writing to what they're they're saying already in their sets and all that shit, and mm-hmm. you know their life. Or if I if they're famous, I know something about them, mm-hmm. and I can kind of add that kind of flavor. Mm-hmm. But you know, just writing for myself, I'm I'm doing that every day, and those are my jokes. You know what I mean? Mm. Like it might it may be a time where I come up with something funny, and I think, you know what? That'd be funny if a chick say that. Mm. You know what I mean? So I hold that for if a female needs me to write for, or some of the female comedians I, I already fuck with. I'm like, yo, this is so funny, but I just can't say it. You should say it. You know mm. what I mean, if you want to, mm. type shit. One hundred percent. Now, now, have you ever like uh, made a suggestion like that for someone, and they was they was just looking at you crazy, like? Yeah, that ain't really that funny to me. Um, uh, not so much on stand up, but yeah, like pitching like stories and jokes and writing it, like yeah. jokes in writing or t- or TV shows and shit. Yeah. yeah, niggas was not fucking with some things. Yeah, but <laughs> that's only because, like you just said uh, earlier, mm-hmm. they they don't they don't they're not putting themselves in the mind of someone that's on stage. M- maybe or no, nah, not so much like that. I think it's just it's a it's a group think type of situation. It's not just me doing this. So, you know, I mean, in the writer's room, it's other people in there and they're going to be, you know, giving their opinions and shit. So you're just throwing stuff out and then people are going to swat it down. Like, I was writing for this cartoon and a motherfucker told me something I said was corny. I got mad. <laughs> How was it containing yourself? Oh, you man, that's tough. Sensitive about your, your shit. It's tough, but but their explanation made sense. Uh-huh. So that kind of helped. You know got what I mean? You. But I didn't think they had to use that word yeah. towards Did it. you pull them to the side afterwards? Hey, look here, dog. I, I know, know we're we'll Being right. the biggest nigga in that room, I felt like it. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, I ain't want to flip no, no tables. Got you. Got you. Got you. You got to remember that, too, sometimes. You know, the biggest, blackest person in the room. Yeah, yeah. You got to yeah. kind of. You got to dial your blackness back. Yeah, because if you raise your voice, that could be assault or yeah. some shit. You know yeah. And that's where, oh, that's where, like, where keeping it real goes wrong and stuff. <laughs> yeah. When you start moving up in the world. Then keeping it real goes, or keep, or being yourself. Being yourself. Fuck you up. Sometimes you got to stop being you. Sometimes. Come on. You got to stop being you. Preach. Hey, listen, it, it sounds crazy, but until you inside them positions and you done lost something real big, you, you, you'll understand then. You know, home, just go home and tell your old lady about it, man. Just get it off your chest. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Don't hold it in, cause yeah, yeah cause yeah. You, you, yeah, cause it make you feel like a wholesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know, what I mean, if you got a family to feed, or you, you know, got I mean, a not, family to feed, you got to stand on business in, in certain aspects. Uh huh. But something as small as someone disagreeing with uh-huh. your idea and yeah. group think ain't enough for you to how you would normally be. How if a nigga told you you was corny, how yeah. you would go off? Yeah, it's a whole difference. Rito Brown used to do some really great skits like that. You Rico Brown? Yeah, Rito Brown. Oh, Rito, yeah, Rito, Rito, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah. But so I said, da 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 Yeah. Knowing it didn't go he like that. Like, <laughs> it really went. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I, yeah, he need to do, well, he ain't going to do them because I be talking to him. He said he done with the sketches, man. He got he got sick and tired of Instagram and shit. Bruh, bruh. He just like everybody else that started early. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> people ask me all the time why I don't do sketches no more. And it ain't just because I can't see that good no more. <laughs> right. <laughs> You got some great sketches right now, bro. <laughs> Nigga, this you trying to find your phone is a great sketch. It can be fun. <laughs> Nigga, what? You just place your phone down and be like, hey. all right, but this sketch, I trying to find it. Hey, listen, hey, let me tell you some blind nigga shit that I did at the gym. Oh, I bet. Bro. I've been seeing that. Good job. Oh, thank you. Good job. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh but uh <laughs> 
So I was going to the sauna, right? Okay. So I'm by myself in the sauna, and this is when I first started getting these surgeries on my eye and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And I, um, I was kind of lose. I'm starting to like lose my sight and shit, but everything was getting blurrier. So I go inside the sauna. No, you, you know, usually when you're in the sauna, you ain't got on nothing but your shorts. Right, man. Why I had then sat down on this gay dude lap. He was like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, "Honey, don't do that." I was embarrassed. <laughs> I, I was embarrassed, uh, and I was offended at the same time <laughs> that I wasn't good enough for this nigga. Oh, man. Yes. Yeah, Yo, yeah, yeah. That's funny, bro. That, that, I hate nah, that happened to you. Bro, and it was a it was a full sauna. I ain't know it was that many niggas. Oh, there. word. Because if I had a win, if I'd have known that, I wouldn't have walked in that big. Man, you need a stick. Yeah, Nick, dog, I tried the stick, uh-huh. and I was hitting niggas with the stick. That's part of it, right? That's why you put, keep it down know. low. I don't know. Like, you can't, I'm over here learning how to do this shit at 42. Okay. I'm learning how to be blind at 42. Yeah, Nigga, yeah you know, I think you keep the stick down low so you get hit, like, you don't hit them in the face and then you hit them. Nah, I was hitting their shoes and hitting yeah. their calves. And oh, I guess like, you can't really hit them. It's, 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 it's a lot. That's a lot. Of I like, you know, I, you know, I'm just waiting till somebody come help me. Fuck this. Man. And they, otherwise, I just cancel my, all of my appointments. They got something that to do makes with sense. It. Yeah, yeah. Damn, but that's fucked up, bro. Yeah. I'm sorry. Did he, what, do you remember what, they, what he had on? Say it again. You remember what he had on? I think this nigga was naked. Oh, special victims unit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn, Jack. <laughs> you the can't do that shit. to you, man. You disabled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but, where but, is Ice T? <laughs> yeah, hey, bro. Hey, right. But yeah, he, he everybody understood what it is because I guess I be doing blind shit. You know what I'm saying? When you walking around. So I'm sure they knew you didn't. You couldn't really. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you ever seen some niggas when they, that's blind and shit and then they, they have that blind look on their face like, <laughs> yeah, you don't do that. I though. try not to do that. Yeah. If I am like looking real hard, because I'm, I'm not like blackout blind. Nah, for sure. Yeah, it's like, you know what I'm saying? I can see you right there. Mm-hmm. But then the further you get away from me, it's like blurry. Got you. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, so you need, you're like nearsighted more, right? It's nearsighted. a little bit more complex than that. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the more weight, the more weight I lose, the more um, my eyesight inch up. Oh, okay. Come on. Yeah, yeah. So I got like a hundred pounds to go. That's a good goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One hundred percent. Trying to get down to. Um... If you get skinny and can see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what a whole new nigga. <laughs> a whole new nigga. Hey, fuck around. I find out I'm white for real. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, bro. What was the first video you did? Like, like first interview? I should say. The first one was. Uh, I think it was definitely Nipsey Hustle. That was the very first one. You very did? first one. The one you just posted. Yeah, the one I just posted. Yeah. And, and guess what? When I posted that shit, I didn't even I didn't realize that was the first one until you know what I'm saying uh, my people cut the shit up for me. Yeah. And I said it in the interview. The uh, the second one, like three or four years later to him. Uh, and yeah, and you know it was just so eerie. That's why it was so eerie watching it, this clip and everything. Yeah. And I'm, I'm asking him like, "Yo, man, you was my first interview, and I'm, I'm, over, I, I was wondering if you even seen what I was doing." He's like, "Yeah, I see what you're doing." Yeah, it's like yeah. he was just talking to me from the grave. Damn, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Inside this particular clip, it's very spooky. It is, man. Damn, that's and it's crazy shit about him. Like he's he's been the same nigga ever since. Yeah, yeah, 100. percent Like even when he was really in the trenches, damn near looked like he had a curl, like a real live yeah. LA gang banger rolling sixty nigga. Yeah. He still was just talking about uplifting and yeah. investing and all that, man. Yeah. Special nigga, man. Real cool dude, man. You know. That was your first one. Very damn, very first one back in 2010. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh man, you doing this shit for a minute, man. Long time. Yeah. Long, long time. You remember we first met? Uh, we met at uh on at um the BET Awards, uh the red carpet, oh, uh, hip hop awards. Um, nope. Uh, we it met at Boston. That. Yeah, before that. Uh, we met at uh. You got a good ass memory. You was right. You said photographic, but that was cap. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Uh no 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 no. It was in Atlanta. It was in Atlanta. But you wasn't living here. I wasn't. I wasn't living. Oh, a three C. It was that weekend, yeah, or that week. It's a week. A three C is a week or a weekend. Yeah, yeah. It was that weekend, and they was um, the Laughing Barrel at the time. They was interviewing. Oh, the that comedy time. hype nigga. Yeah, yeah. It was at my hotel. At the hotel, yeah. You was with Don Johnny. I was, I, he was he, he was interviewing me, and he was like, "I'm about to pull up on Jack Thriller." I was like, "Oh, dope. I ain't never met him." You know what I'm saying? Let's. I, I roll with you. You was right. That was you yeah. was the other nigga. I was the other nigga, bro. Yeah, man. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, man. Photograph it. Hell that was me, dog. No. That was the first time we met. Yup. 
You was telling your life story and all that shit. That shit was interesting, dog. Yeah, you need dude. a documentary, nigga. Hey, man, I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to go about doing it. And, you know, because first I'm, I'm, things first is gather every piece of footage and, and, and talk to every old person in your family before they pass. First, first, first order of business is doing a documentary about yourself. And now you got me figuring and wondering if I want to do that. <laughs> uh, but it do make a lot of goddamn sense. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it would be definitely. Because you may have you may have enough footage to have shit. Definitely. Uh, uh, hours worth of the documentary. I, I, done. Probably even more than that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. It's a it's a lot of been crammed in Yeah, and then you know, go, you know, then the back the back end is you go back and interview people that had a special Part of your life, and that that could really help tell the story of the documentary. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean, not not too many people want to watch a documentary that's just about a nigga's life. Nah, no, no. It's nah. about a story. You know yeah. what I mean? Like your life is a Tubi movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, yeah. <laughs> like all the way down to the core. So yeah, it is. You know it, I mean, it was definitely a lot of peaks and valleys in that motherfucker. Peaks and valleys, dog. Yeah. But you still here. I'm you still, still standing. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, it's so hard to. To like, know what I'm saying, really accept the fact that I'm 42. Well, like, because it feels like I'm goddamn 62 with all of the, the experience. That I <laughs> yeah, had. it's so much shit that then crammed into this 42. Yeah, bro. Yeah, it, it, it seemed like there's got to be 20 more years on this, or am I making shit up? Yeah, <laughs> nah, you was you was outside. I was outside early, dog. Yeah, yeah. Early, man. How was you in school? Uh, I was outside in school. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. It was a. Uh, Damn, I wanted to do. You got. Like video footage of you in school. With nah, time it's, ago. it's definitely not any 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 that I know about. I, I meet niggas every now and then mm -hmm. online that say that we went to school together. Hey, putting that out there right now. If you got any footage of Jack Thriller at any point in fashion, send it to. Hey, niggas was telling me to get the fuck out out of the camera. <laughs> oh, so, they're telling you don't yeah, break they didn't the know. They, they didn't know I was gonna be me. Oh, back then. I'm sorry. No, they ain't uh, know. So it probably ain't none. Oh damn! Yeah, all right. probably then like, hey, look, look what I can do! Look at me, y'all! <laughs> oh, you was doing too much. Yeah, I was doing too all much. Right. Yeah, yeah. I bet somebody got you. I was like, I'm save my shit for later. I bet it's somebody in your life that got like new face energy and just like recorded all kind of shit. I bet you. You 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 know who that will be? Who? Um, food stamp got a lot Ooh. of things about me Man. that I didn't. I, I completely forgot. Man, you better about. go over there and get it for his wife. Throw it away. You know he just got what? married, right? He got married? Oh, that's so funny when niggas don't know. <laughs> Who Stamp got married? Oh, God. Took Miss B. Who Stamp married Miss B? <laughs> I love to... I love breaking... Comedian Miss B? Man, the nigga dm me some pictures. That's how I even found out. This nigga had on the uh, OT Genesis Crip Blue suit. <laughs> <laughs> you seen that nigga? <laughs> that nigga, I said, okay, Neil. Holy shit. Got the pictures, nigga. I mean, it don't matter. Why I keep telling you about pictures? <laughs> That's what happened to my childhood <laughs> friend. Yeah, bro. My nigga just got married, like, Saturday. Yeah. Oh, dang. We got to get food stamp up here. Got to, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got to, man. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he, so you, know, you need to get over there and grab your shit before yeah, shit Yeah, you, you ain't over. never lied. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, this is a honey bun shit? <laughs> honey bun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Duval might have some shit that, you know what I mean? You know, he's a, he's a hoarder was, of footage. Um, me and Lando were just talking to Duval just before we walked up in this Okay, yeah, you know, he's a footage hoarder, so he probably got a couple yeah. things that he He definitely got some stupid yeah. shit for me. Yeah, yeah. Definitely got some stupid shit. Yeah, that when you, when the name Honey Bun died, I ever saw that video. Yep, yep. I think <laughs> Tib had that one too. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. That was classic fun. moment. Classic, classic moment. moment, dog. Hey, I was born again that night. You was, dog. I was, this is why hey. we have what we have here. Nigga, if that night didn't happen, bro, you it may was, be gay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga thought I was gonna say something different. No, nah, nigga, you would have been a homosexual. <laughs> Honey bun in 2024? Nope, not going for it. Thumbs are in the butt. Hey, bruh, I was fighting for gay rights and I wasn't even gay back then. You feel me? You was one of the first, nigga. Yeah. It was yeah. you and Ted McCampbell. Yeah, niggas wanted to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> niggas wanted to kill me. It's crazy. No, niggas wanted to kill me. No, hey. back in the days, yo, what? niggas did not, niggas was gay for real, though. Yeah. But you couldn't be out. So they was like really like just fighting themselves yeah. on gay niggas yeah. or on gay people or, or just still today. Yeah. Niggas that talk too bad about gay people today, I'd be like, oh, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody hit your button back there. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yo, you don't know what to do. Oh, you got to go see the lady. I was staying with some death threats. Stay oh, word. <laughs> Especially at the comedy clubs and stuff. Just for honey bun? Yeah, for honey bun. And I, and I tried to put a Z on it to, to make it masculine. <laughs> but but, but buns is crazy. Buns was DMX off a of fucking belly. But that was different, dog. Why is it different? Because it wasn't no honey on it. It wasn't. Uh, yeah, and then buns is ass. So it's like even crazier. You got glazed butt. You was thank you, good one, yo. You got Krispy Kreme. <laughs> Krispy Kreme did make a honey bun donut. That shit probably go crazy, but not your name. Yeah, the day, the name was wild. Yeah, that, that, that was crazy, bro. Yeah. Ooh, I, so the day you came up with that, like what you was? On? It was it was a Cedric Entertainer, man. I ain't gonna call no grown ass man delicious. Boom. And so I, I said, yo, I need it. And I'm 14 years old at the time, mm -hmm. and I, I said to myself, I need to come up with something that make niggas uncomfortable. But just, just, that sound uh, um, unforgettable, just like that joke. Because mm. I never, you'll never forget that joke. You know what I was talking about. Off the air. And so that's what I, uh, I was on the chat line one day. And uh, for those who don't know what the chat line is, it's like a <laughs> internet right. for the phone. The phone lines, bro. You got a whole bunch of different rooms in it and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, you just On click, the phone. Yeah. And so I'm over here talking to this girl, these girls, like probably five girls in the room. When, hopefully. And then, uh, yeah, right, hopefully. Because yeah. that's, that's what me and my brother thing was. We'll meet girls on the chat line and get on a train and go meet them in the underground mall. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. we I think it was adventurous. We, bro, we were super adventurous. Avondale Mall. With, there was a lot of sex happening at the movies in Avondale Mall. <laughs> at that dollar movie theater. It was off a the dollar, chat line. Yeah, off the chat line. Yes, sir. Off the chat line, nigga. The first back page. Yes, yes. That was first back page. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. So you, you had to find out who a freak is and blah, 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 uh -huh. and do your thing, your one, two. And we were like 12 and 13 on that motherfucker. Going yeah. Crazy. Crazy. And they were fucking with honey buns? Yes. Yeah. Hold on. So this is how the honey bun thing. So I'm on, I'm 14, I'm on there and whatnot. I'm talking to these girls and stuff. And then this gay dude come in the room and say, hey, my name is Honey Bun. I hope your grandmama die. Bye. And just left the room and then went into another room. And I was talking to another girl. And he said, hey, my name is Honey Bun. I hope your mama die. Bye. And he did it a third time. And the third time, I laughed just as hard. Yeah. And I was like, that's it. If I, want, or if I become a comedian, I'm going to call myself a honey bun. What? And that's how that shit happened. And then I had star, uh. I just dropped out of Reading and High School okay. in, in uh, like uh, ninth grade, mm -hmm. the end of ninth grade. Well, let me say the, the next ninth grade. Got you. Super ninth grade. Uh -huh. Yeah, because I had flunked and I was right, you doing- you 17. Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, I used to call into the Ryan Cameron Morning Show. Okay. Went out with uh, Rashawn and uh, Ryan and- Shout out uh, to Ryan uh, and Rashawn, man. Uh, Griff and Akini. And that, 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 oh, well, that ain't Ryan then, is it? No, nah, Griff had came on there for a hot second. Griff was on Ryan's show? I want to say they was the eight team together though, but they had Ryan on there. This was after that. This was after the, that, before the, the eight. The, this was before the eighteen. Got it. All right. Yeah, yeah. That, that's Lally. when I moved here. The eighteen was still intact. Gotcha. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. And that when Laugh Love came and all that. Shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so boom, you call up Ryan. Schmack. Yeah, and he used to invite me to um to the morning shows to come do, do that gay character Honey Bun. Oh shit. Yeah, when I was 14, 15 or some shit. Oh, you was getting groomed. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so the, the nigga told me. That was Man, funny. beat Ryan's name out, fam. This ain't good. Hey, hey, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan, this shit is not aging well, gang. Ryan told me, yo, you funny. You should become a comedian. He gave me this DVD called Jinx D. It's about him being a comedian. Mm -hmm. not, and that was his alter ego. So fast forward two years later, the Kings of Comedy come to Phillips Arena and whatnot. And I, I'm 17 years old. Um, and I'm watching all the motherfuckers go on stage. And I, I go yeah. see it. Nights in a row. Nice. And I was like, that's what I want to do. And a week later, I was at Chris Tucker Comedy Club opening up for Steve Brown and the Keys. Steve Brown's like, hey, give it up for Honey Bond. Yeah, yeah. Nigga, yeah. Uh... Yep, yep, <laughs> yep, yep. At Chris Tucker Comedy and Club. And the Keys. Yeah. None of them niggas said no that day? No, they was cool with it. They, 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 cause they knew oh, they so we could blame me. Steve and the Keys. Yeah. Oh, they just wanted to roast you. Yeah, they wanted to roast me. Damn, bro. And they did. Yeah, Man, yeah. I wish I was there, bro. I and, and you, you know I love a good roast. I don't know about you. No, nah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's cool ass to your aura. You, right? Yeah, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You, gotta, you feel like- I'm you too good at roasting not to get roasted. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like, niggas got to try me. So, it, it, it ain't nothing too far? Mm, I really love my mother, and I'm- um, I have a Does that mean you don't? weapons permit. Does huh? that mean you don't if, if you let people talk about your mama? Some niggas will let you talk about their mama. I will not at all. Okay. Yeah. Any particular reason? Because I love my mama. Okay, I have just a simple weapons got permit. It. Yeah. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> it's the only two reasons. <laughs> Best roast you ever seen in your life? <laughs> on me? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh. First on TV, then 
You know what I'm saying? We can go to you. First on TV? First, first roast. Uh, shit, man. Wow. It's, it, does, it didn't, it doesn't, it didn't, it don't, age, it don't wait, hold on. It don't age well. It didn't age well, but damn near every roast Martin used to say to Pam on TV used to be the funniest shit in the world to me. I don't think it'd be that funny now. You know what I mean? But you remember that shit? I, I understood roast. everything you just said. Understand? And you absolutely right. You feel what I'm saying? No, I 100. Yeah, I, like if I was to say it now, it wouldn't be a buck shots, beady yeah, beat. Like it don't yeah, go. Yeah. It don't go. But back then? Yeah. Oh, nigga. Because yeah. nobody was roasting nobody on the no, TV. No, they weren't. You know what I'm saying? They wasn't like that. And I was like, nigga, that's us. Like, that's how yeah, we do. Yeah. Um, Martin, one of them niggas that he can only do the shit that he do. Bro, he he broke the mold, man, when it came yeah. to sitcoms and shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Being able to, I mean, obviously people did characters before him, but mm -hmm. the level he took these yeah, characters yeah. to was like, man. Yeah. Wow. And, and the amount of characters. The amount of characters, and they all hit. They all hit. They all hit. None of them flopped. None of them characters bombed. Even the worst one was just okay. Like the white boy. Man, Bob from accounting? He's the worst one. Man, that was not the worst one. All right, what's the worst the one? The hammer pants. What's the, oh, no, I, I'm I, saying I, it's I, really I, good. I you feel what I'm going. saying? Like, I see where you're going. It's so good. The worst one yeah. is amazing. Yeah, feel what I'm yeah. saying? I, okay, one that I didn't, I ain't care for, uh -huh. but it still was good. Leroy Preston. Nah. Okay. Oh, hold on, Leroy Preston. You talking about the one with Don't You Know No Good? Yeah. I enjoyed that one a lot. That was great. Okay, I, I enjoyed I, it. I was, that was about good. to argue. Go ahead. I ain't, I ain't like Roscoe. Mm. I wasn't a Roscoe fan. Oh, mm, you know what? I make an argue that flopping Roscoe and the white boy and moving white. You'll flop it out. I might put Roscoe out. at the bottom. Yeah. 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 Roscoe, Roscoe, you know what I mean? He, he, he actually, if you look back at it, he kind of was a story mover. He would come at the beginning of the show and kind of set the tone for what exactly. the hijinks that yeah. was about to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't, great positioning. Great, great positioning. positioning. Great positioning. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I can read that. Um, let's see. The best roast. Um, oh, can I tell you a roast that I did on Wild and Out that didn't make TV? Yes, please. You know Maddie, right? The white girl? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, I said... Well, I said a couple things that Oliver didn't make. The first thing I said was um, Maddie took her dog to the prom. He, and then I waited a second. I was like, he fucked. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> niggas thought it was going to bomb. I waited a second. I was like, he fucked. And niggas went crazy. And then uh, the other thing, I was like, uh, don't ask how I know this, but Maddie squirt uh, tartar sauce. <laughs> that made, that, didn't that make it? That didn't make it, dog. They ain't make it, man. A lot of my white shit didn't make it, man. I hey, hey, remember that shit that you wrote for me like that and it didn't make it? Bro, I don't think I wrote that. <laughs> I think you said some shit and I was like, don't say that. And you did it anyway. I think that's what it was. <laughs> you can't tell me you don't say that shit. <laughs> what was it, Thriller? I, I said something about discharge. Yes, and I did not. Yes. I would never. Yeah. That shit hit, though. That shit hit. <laughs> that shit hit. It was, nigga uh, said it wasn't going to make it. it was, <laughs> that shit hit. It was, no. I don't remember the joke, but it was the baby daddy, baby mama game, right? Yes. 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 We only played that shit one season. My, my, yeah. Baby that daddy, baby season. mama, baby daddy, baby yeah. mama. But who got the drama? It was a COVID season. Yeah. Who got the drama? And then you just do like a baby mama joke. My baby mama's so fat. And it's like, how fat is she? So you had said something. And her dish, oh, her discharge shake tastes like mayonnaise. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah, yeah. My yeah, baby yeah, mama yeah. was so nasty. I was so nasty. proud of that she shit. My discharge tastes like mayonnaise. I said, don't say that. <laughs> I, don't, I think I, I think walked off. I don't know if you saw me. I, I walked off. Uh, that nigga, he's like, I'm going to do it. And he did that shit and it hit that to my surprise. Yes. That shit went crazy. Hey, I used to look for the all the, the most left field shit. I used to hate to see you coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was like, bro, if I run, he probably may not see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where is Tyler? Tyler, what do you think about that? Tyler, what do you think about that? Okay, give me something for it. Give me something for it. Hey, hey. man, every time, every, it was a moment every time you grabbed the microphone. So, like, it didn't really matter what you was gonna say. That shit was gonna be a moment. I was trying to be that nigga. You was, dog. I, was, I, I succeeded. And then first, then you had on the fit. Like, the outfits was already crazy. Come on, I'll, I'll. Yeah, come on. That you had that on. That nigga had that on. Minus the fro. I said, oh, this nigga is hot. <laughs> nah, you yeah, the fits was crazy. You know, you had the 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 the, the glittery mic one, you had the spiky mic one. Like how many Michael joints do you got? Um uh, six. Gotcha. Seven. So Thriller was your favorite joint. 
Yeah, th- th- Thriller is definitely my um number one. Yeah, number one. Okay. And B- Billie Jean um is number no, uh, Beat It is number two. Okay. Billie Jean is number three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll let but, you know Mike was outside. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's why you child. Really think Mike was nothing in bitches. No, one hundred percent. I'm talking about I'm the one, bitch. I am in Ohio. Now. Okay. Okay. That kid is not my son. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just watching a, um, a, a documentary on uh, Diana Ross where she was talking about her relationship mm. with Michael Jackson and everything. Um, and they used to go out and party at Studio Fifty Four. Oh yeah, and he, they they would uh they both of their reps couldn't find them, and you know they they'll be called from Michael Jackson's apartment in the morning time, Damn. like early and shit. But it never would confirm if they was fucking or not. Nah. And then but somebody in the background heard her say, "Girl, Michael Jackson is not gay." Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, Mike was putting it in her butt. What? Better know he was. No, he was. You better know. Come on. Type shit. Come on. <laughs> Mike wasn't playing with these motherfuckers. And, and Mike was selective too. Act. He, he Mike, Mike, this one, this one thing I own um, that I it used to it pissed me off, but it was impressive too. Okay. At the same time. Mike wasn't gonna just fuck everybody. Nah, hell nah. Yeah, like that girl off of the way you make me feel video. Mm-hmm. Man, I wanted to, I wanted to know he fucked her so bad. He, you don't think he did? He's he, he put the bitch off the tour because she tried to fuck him. Oh, where were I? Ain't know that yeah. story. Okay, yeah, all yeah. right. Damn. She was heartbroken. Yeah, and um, home girl from um the Thriller video, Ola Ray. Same thing. She was going hard on Mike. Don't thing. fuck the help. No, he don't. You feel me? Like no. you gotta no. be Diana Ross or you got know I me. Mean? Yeah, you gotta be yeah. on TV at least, bitch. Is he really? <laughs> Hold his dick to a high standard, like we all should, Thriller. Yeah, but we, we don't. But we don't. But that's what make Michael Jackson special. Yep, one hundred percent. Just fuck it. And take it from Mike, y'all. You'll never catch crabs like that. Hold <laughs> <it to you>. <laughs> <laughs> you can't dig it. Why? And that was back. That was back when everybody had old a diseases, bro. Them old ass <laughs> worms. You got crabs now, man. I don't. I don't even think. I don't even think they really exist. Like unless you in, on the street for real. Yeah, yeah. You like crabs would be in your high school, like wherever. And homeless that, shelters. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Right now they can't be on nobody. Else. Yeah, I ain't heard about nobody getting crabs in a minute. Can't be, bro. Yeah, I yeah. think there's a vaccine. You don't even. Hey, I just, I just heard about HIV again. Um, it just cranking back up. It's cranking back you up. You watch BET Plus on yeah. your app. They're gonna keep showing like they keep showing HIV the commercials, commercials all day yeah. and night. Nothing but black and gay people in the commercials. <laughs> I was like y'all tripping, bro. It's got to be some white folks with HIV, bro. They're the most people on earth. Come on, man. <laughs> they have to be. They have to have the most everything because they're the most. Of. Yes, yeah. I mean, not Earth, but in, in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, so, you know, this is the last thing I'm going to say about this shit. Okay. But my, uh, it's this spot on Monday nights, and I'm going to tell you where it's at. All right. That, uh, where they be, no, it's a gang of spots now in Atlanta where they be selling pussy and shit. Mm. And I was with my cousin, and this nigga went and got some head. Oh, man. Without a condom. Oh, man. <laughs> Hey, no, we talked about this oh. like a goddamn dog. He told y'all? Yeah, we we saw him walk off with her. Oh, he was like, Wait I, a minute, mother. But yeah, you know he ain't had no condoms. We, uh, I asked him. I just asked oh, him. Oh, he's okay, boom. When he came he back. He for real. Yeah, yeah. I asked him when he came back. I said, hey, dog, man. what did you just do? What? No. And he, he was like, man, I ain't got me made. Did you put a condom on? Oh. And he was like... Nah. Oh. That nigga, what if you number 16 today? Yeah. And I'm I'm mad at her too. Yes, me too. You fucking up the business plan. Like I yes. I had to I damn near knocked a bitch's eyelashes off in the DR trying to suck my dick with no condom on it. Hey, 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 bitch, hey. It's the handbook. The handbook clearly states the handbook. that nothing goes inside of you without being protected. One one you you don't want to catch nothing in the I DR. Took $20 back. Just for the discretion. Twenty dollars and the indiscretion. Twenty. God damn. That's a lot. Nigga, hey, That's he, four he, weeks worth of groceries in PR. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin paid fifty. So, oh, well, he paid. He had the nah, own. Nah, he paid. He paid, it, it fifty for here. It oh, 50, fifty here. Fifty here. for the headpiece. Yes. All right. I mean, that ain't, you know what I mean. You feel me? But also, but if you the caught some, yeah. If you, like if you go into a spot that sells pussy, like fifty dollars should be, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like in Atlanta, like, come on, where yeah. the fuck? Where yeah, Atlanta, yeah, one hundred percent. Hey man, so dog, how many shows you been you done wrote for, man? Fuck, man. Um, I send you all my IMDb. Y'all can post it. It's about it's in the teens. Thank God. You know what I'm saying? And in a bunch of uh, oh, it's probably twenty something because it's a bunch of like um, either pilots or or independent movies. I got a movie coming out that I wrote, nigga. That was dope. You know what I mean? It's called Top Five, man. It's, it's um, 
It's, you know, niggas in, in South Florida love them donks and cars and shit. Yes, of course. So it's a um, it's kind of a love story about this dude, you know, trying to work on his car, fixing his car, and you know, what I mean, a love story with his car, but also he fall in love with a chick, mm-hmm. and that kind of helps him realize what to do with the car and, and all that shit. And then I kill her. So that's what's up, man. So while we on the same subject, just to promote it and whatnot, mm-hmm. uh, who's in your top five? Comedians? Yes. All time. All time. Uh, shit. Dave Chappelle. Love it. Ronnie Jordan. Wow. Nigga, what? Wow. Bro, what? You giving love on Christmas Day. Nah, not even. Even if I didn't, even if this wasn't my brother. Okay. Nigga, what? Okay. See, but you, have you heard? <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, run, I don't like run, you know, we started you. at the same time. No, I know it, but like, so I've been on the road with him several times. Yeah. And. Shit, if I watch him do an hour, 40 minutes of it is going to be damn near all new shit and all funny. Like, every single time I see this nigga, it's several minutes of funny new shit that I never heard in my life, and I have seen him hundreds of times, bro. Like, what, nigga? It's a fucking machine, dog. Yeah, yeah. Fucking machine. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he so, is. Yeah, so like I say, even if, even if I just happen to see him 10 to 20 times, he will still be in my Bro, I follow him online in these days. And like you just said, I it, it's stuff that I ain't never, I've never heard. And then you 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 like to think you didn't sing it at all. But yeah, running it is definitely good for. Beast. Yeah. Tommy Davidson. Tommy Davidson. One Beast, man. That nigga almost killed me uh, when I, before I started doing a comedy show in Sacramento mm. with my family because they lived out there. Went to go see him, man. And that okay. nigga was roasting this nigga in the crowd so hard, bro. I had to leave because my head hurt and my side hurt. Like, you ever laughed that hard where your head was hurting? You was like, oh, he's going to kill me if I don't get out of this room? Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought it was I had to be. put him in the top five from then. Okay. I actually wrote a pilot for him, man. It was um, it was going to be uh, a Varnell Hill kind of reboot. I like it. Do you, do you know the origin of that Varnell character? Talk to me. Martin wanted Arsenio Hall to do, uh, to do it, but Arsenio Hall didn't want to do the shit. They made fun of him. So he made fun of him. He he was like really taking the shot at yeah, Arsenio. He was, he was mad at Arsenio, yeah. Yeah, and it ended up being one of the best fucking characters be- that you've fun. ever so, seen. So my reboot was they was trying to pitch Martin a um a, a, a talk show to do. Okay. He didn't want to do it, but he was like, I got the perfect person. And he found Varnell, but Varnell's still living in the 90s, but it's 2020. You know, or wherever the fuck I wrote this shit. So, you know what I mean? He still got a suit on, this nigga got a pager on the way you can find him. You know what I mean? His son is a is a stand-up comedian. But he don't know he's his son, but he also work at the uh work for the show as a PA. You know what I mean? It's it was some fire shit as a pilot, man. They did somebody people shout out to Rod Rose. He connected me with with his his management. You know what I mean? They had me write the pilot. You know what I mean? It went it went to uh to be pitched and all that shit. But you know what I mean, COVID stopped a whole lot of shit. Me and Ronnie was gonna have a TV show on BET for COVID. We shot the shot the pilot on our own, a teaser, the trailer on our own and all that shit, bro. See, that's what's phenomenal about you, bro. Oh, thank you, man. You keep it moving. They don't just stop at comedy. You oh, I know how to fail. Ooh, shit, <laughs> boy. <laughs> God damn. Ooh. Hey. I didn't fail in school. Like, I was a straight A nigga, so, like, I, God was getting me ready for, like, all right, nigga, I ain't make you fail, but here it come. Come on now. Here it comes, nigga. What do you do? What happens? What do you got going? You miss 90% what? of the shots you don't take. With a gun to your head. Come on, you remember that? That, Do I? You know what I mean? Shout out to Vivica Fox out here throwing that old pussy out there talking about stuff. What's up? What's hey, up? What, you gonna I, what you going to do about it? But what you going to do about it? I'll beat. I still beat. But you know, it still smells 60. I don't give a fuck what, who what's, you are. What, what 60 year old pussy smell like? Leather. And white diamonds perfume. Pearls, nigga. And Terry McMillan books. Gloves. Terry Mc, nigga, what? <laughs> <laughs> That pussy waiting to exhale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vivica, so you out there, I beat, man, but ain't nobody marrying you, cuz. And she, 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 she didn't Like, wait. Don Cheeto might, huh? She didn't wait too long, bro. Yeah, I mean, that ain't even her. Like, ain't nobody marrying nobody at 60. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you, you I ain't gonna say nobody, 
But you feel me? Not, yeah, not when you got all those no. standards for the for the for the marriage. You heard you heard like her her list of Yeah, things. her list of standards. Like you're 60, yeah. you going you might go back to somebody you've been with before, or you might happen to meet somebody at bingo. It's too many requests, know? man. It's too, too many, many requests, man. Yeah. It's young chicks that can't even get away with some Hell of that. Hell no. Man, I was just man. I was just saying that same shit. It's yeah. young bitches that can't was, have that list. Fuck no. Get out of here. Fuck no. Move around. You work at Claire's. <laughs> Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. <laughs> so what? What's uh? You you plan on getting married, man? Nah, you got married. Marriage got to happen to you, gang. You don't you don't plan it. It's got to happen to you. Everybody in here that's married, they didn't plan that shit. Do you do you want it for yourself? I want to be happy, and if that makes me happy, that's what I'm going. With. I like what you just did, right? There, I could so. be happy by myself, but okay. if I find somebody that can make me happy as I am by myself with them, uh -huh. let's do it. If they want to get married, we could just die together. This is the same shit. Got you. Got you. So you was married a bunch of times. This nigga here. <laughs> I thought I was gonna let it go. Yeah, you was a married ass nigga, boy. God damn, but you marriage roulette. Come on, black niggas bleeding on black eighteen. That shit ain't never hit. <laughs> it ain't never. <laughs> it's, I, don't think, I don't think it's for me, man. You I, you tried it though. You gotta I know. Tried it. You yeah. might you might you might give it another chance. You know what I'm saying? Like you know we know what you don't want to do. You know what you don't want to have. I definitely know what I don't want. You know what I mean? Definitely know. What I don't that's want. fair now. So you feel me? One hundred percent. Still got a porn stars number though. Yeah, I got a, quite a few porn stars numbers. I need I need to highlight them because I got I got a show that I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you okay? This porn base like no no no. It's it's uh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I need, I need the actual. You know what I mean? Actual. You know, you know what would be really dope. I, I would love to see uh, uh, <laughs> the Chronicles host the AVN. Boy, Duval did that shit. I know that shit was dope. He did. He just did the last one. Get the fuck out of here. Oh uh, yeah. I done talked to this nigga seventy four times. Yeah, probably he posted. Ah, oh, you can't. Damn. Somebody gotta tell this nigga Jack what's going on on Instagram, dog. Supposed to be Michelle job. ass. Oh, Mich they, Michelle! She wouldn't never. She wouldn't follow. She wouldn't know that though. She but she gotta tell you, do all that's your people. But yeah, he did. He did the AVN. But I would, man, I would love to do that shit. I'm, I am working on. So a lot of shit that you look at and be like, I should be doing that. I am working on getting myself in a position where I will be asked to do a whole lot of shit. Mm. That's what I'm doing. You know? and, and and like, what, what does that even look like, though? bro? These days, it's this right here. Well, it's it's the phone. Mm. Hold on, this tip right here, bro. Um, oh, you a fool! <laughs> it's the it's the phone, bro. It's what you do. Um, can I, can we can I get two seconds? Yes, please. Hold on, because this is about it. What's up, gang? Ain't shit, man. Up here with Jack Thriller, man, aka Honey Buns. Hey, tell that nigga I'm pissed off at him. <laughs> I know he got all my DMs. He said he said he pissed off at you. He, he know you got all his DMs. <laughs> No homo. Oh, his DMs. You know, Tip ain't even no IG no more, bro. Oh, I thought he was bullshit. Nah, he ain't bullshit. Oh, okay. Well, I was just bullshitting. <laughs> What's good, man? I'm up here shooting this podcast, though. When you coming, Tip? You done told me two years ago now. <laughs> okay, bet, bet. Shit, um, I can hit you back in a few minutes then. All right, perfect. He just skipped over the shit I just asked him. Um, he pretty much did, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. It was it was a business call. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, Shout out to Tip, man. Go watch the part, man. Shit out of me. Huh? Yeah. I heard. Nah, he does, he does, he he um a while ago, and he talked about it on stage. Now a while ago, he he stopped getting on Instagram. It's just so negative and shit. And he was like, he got somebody to post for him and all. That. I, I, He's I, still I active. when he talked about it on uh, on um in a, a couple of interviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he he got somebody posting, so it's the page stays active. He still got promote shit, but he ain't on there. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Um, but yeah, yeah, we are working on some shit, so I had to answer that. My bad. Now, nigga, I would have answered it. <laughs> I would have answered it too. You have yeah, for but I, I, I'm gonna holler at him about coming on the show for sure. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. That nigga definitely will. Yes, they, they tell that nigga to come through. For sure. Love to have him. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, um, we was just talking Talk about, about porn junk. Yeah. Yeah, AVN. I would love to. I'm putting myself in position, and that's through and, the phone. Okay. Um, is that doing sketches? Yeah, bro. I've been doing like some of my own sketches lately. You know what I mean? It's, it's very. I'm shadow man right now, so you, nobody's really seeing the shit. So, um, but yeah, it's just like. Why are you shadow man, bro? Because I be talking about white people a lot. Okay. Yeah. I already know what time it is. You feel me? 
Got you. And you so clean. And that's why I got oh, bro. me off. I know, bro, but I mean, my, um, I, st- I didn't stop saying white people, racist white people. Got you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's white people that I always fuck with. And, um, obviously. But white people fuck with you, though. Real. Yeah, yeah. Because the, the ones, they, they know what time it is. The real white people that fuck with me know they don't like racists either. Mm. And they're making them look bad on mm. top of all that. So they, yeah, they, they get what I'm saying. But the races run the, run everything. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it is what it is. So, um, but you know, shadow bands up and down. But um, yeah, I've been, I've been doing these uh, kind of just this day in the life sketches. You know, how the con- I, I read something that now people are looking at uh, like the average every day in life. People like people on TikToks get millions of followers from just showing themselves waking up and, and making breakfast and going to work and shit like that. Like, I be hearing about that, but I yeah. always think to myself, man, now if I do that bullshit. That's exactly what I said to myself when okay. I started doing that bullshit, but I'm not really doing it, though. It's like some fake shit. Okay. You know I mean, it's like yeah. a parody of that. Of you. Oh, got you. Yeah. I see what you did. Yeah. Okay. It's supposed to be a day in the life, but it mm. lasts 40 seconds. Got it. Okay. Understood. So I've just been dropping those every day, man. Just trying to just be have more intent. You know what I mean? Shout out to Chad, man. You know what I mean? Not only for Chad Uber. For all, not only for like having this situation, but he came on the podcast more than culture. Make sure y'all tap in and uh, subscribe right now. Matter of fact, pause. Chad is. Uh-huh. All right, boom. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate that. That was actually ill time. Um, subscribe. I mean, what I was talking about. <laughs> Shout out to Chad. Ooh. Shout out to Chad because he came on the podcast more than culture, and he was talking about doing things with intent. And as simple as it sounded, I needed to hear that at that moment, and I've just been doing things with intent pretty much since then. So you're saying that the things that you were doing before had no direction? It was kind of frivolous. You know, as being comedians, we just uh, putting shit out there to be putting it out there, and yeah. it didn't really have no direction. But if you look at all the people that are doing well yeah. in those issues, they have some intent. It's a pattern. It's a, it's a pattern, and, and they got their rhythm because of that intent. Yeah. And you, have you ever found yourself going against the grain? Like, I'm not going to do this on purpose. And they, you're only cutting your nose to spite your face. All the time? Yeah. Yeah, that's us. I mean, yeah. we're, in that, we're in that I'm that definitely era. trying to stop doing that, boo. Yeah. I don't, as, I don't as know as how, though, because you, you've been on it so long. You just tired of it? Um, you was one of the first niggas on here. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, am, I, I don't like the pandering of mm. the views and... The, the likes and stuff, that part of the game. Pride will be the death and the downfall of the it, black man. The bruh. <laughs> <laughs> bruh. I am really trying to get past Ooh. my pride, bro. I, I appreciate what you're saying, and I agree. I'm trying my best to get, like, I, I pray it out every day. Man, because I be, I be embarrassed when other niggas do videos. Like, I'm in it. Yeah. Like, why would a nigga be talking to people in public like that? Yeah. Like, who the fuck does Funny Marco think he is? But yeah. Now look who the fuck Funny Marco think he is. Bruh. He, he is. Hey, I be seeing funny Mark on shit, man, that I want to be on. I be like, Bruh. motherfucker. Man, man you just nigga. no pride. Yeah, no pride. Z- zero pride. I, I He's proud nigga. of himself now, I'm sure. What's that nigga name? Um, Mark Theovon. Uh, Von, Von, um, Theo Von. Theo Von. Yeah. Theo Von. I seen him on Theo Von and shit. Mm-hmm. How, How the fuck? fuck this nigga get on Theo Von? Who was pried out the window and yeah, got to the bag? Yeah, on, J- J- Joe Rogan. Bruh, Shaq, Shaq podcast. Oh, Shaq. <laughs> <laughs> hey, every time, every I, time I used to see that nigga I in the Walmart out video. I'm laughing. Yeah. yeah I, I, I can't do nothing but laugh now and whatnot. And then I have to go into study mode. Like, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like I'm, I am willing to do what I have to do yeah. to get where I want to go. Yeah. That, he takes that to the fullest extent. Yeah. A lot of these young dudes take this to the fullest extent. Yeah. And, but they was also born into this shit. They were born into it. You know what I mean? Like, we yeah. we was around the times, like, if you was recording niggas, you might get fucked up. Yeah. Like, for real, not even saying nothing to them. What? You just had a camcorder out. You like, no, 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 I'm doing this for... Like, you had to tell niggas... Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I, I work. I, I'm with this is fifty. Yeah, you know. Yeah. I know niggas want to fuck you up in New York with a camera all the time. Bro, uh, the only time I almost ever got fucked up uh-huh. was by Benny Siegel. Yeah, well, he yeah. want to fuck everybody. Yeah, ben, Benny Siegel. He, he he said he pulled me to the side. Mm-hmm. This was at a, like an All Star Weekend type thing. I think we were in uh we was in Orlando for okay. All Star Weekend, and uh, he pulled me to the side. He said, "Hey man, I know who you is, like that, but man, you just can't be throwing no cameras up in niggas' faces and shit." I do what you want me to do, but yeah. it don't go like that. Yeah, and, uh, um, I, he was all the way right. He was all the way one hundred. But you know, I, that was me getting inside of my ego too, oh, and just okay. assuming 
that just because I I know you know me, that I could do that. Mm -hmm. And then like a lot of times, people don't be ready for that or be inside that mode. They don't be ready. Yeah, yeah. Or they ain't as happy to see you as you think they is. Mm, that part, you know what I'm saying? That part. The motherfucker just got out of prison and all kind of shit at the time too. So you know, timing is another thing. Yeah, at the same he, time, he just punch people for fun. Yes, yeah, so 100. percent Them type niggas. Yeah, 100. percent Out of Philly, man, they got some real bullies out there. Oh, 100. percent Hoes and all. And, uh, really good friend now. And um, that's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him, hey, tell him, man. Um, why not? That'd be weird. Go for it. That'd be fucking weird. What? What? Hey, man, this nigga I don't, that don't know you. <laughs> this nigga you don't know said to tell you. I'm just gonna say it on here just in case you watch. Go for man. it. Hey man, hey the reason, bro, whole shit helped me get through, you know what I mean, some cool shit. So appreciate it. Are you talking to Benny Siegel? Benny Siegel shit. Man, that's what's up. He deserved that. Mm -hmm. But yeah. you tell like me telling another nigga to tell him is weird. Yeah, that that uh cause the nigga probably ain't gonna do it. And where yeah, where would be like your end to that's, hey, that's why I was talking loud when you was on the phone with Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that because it's kind of like I'm doing it myself because I, I I know this nigga can hear me. I'm, but I'm definitely gonna relay the message for to come on the joint. I, I will do that. That's yeah. di that's different. That's yeah. an important. I, I can hear the nigga ignoring me. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear him not yeah. being happy to hear from me and what because he's trying to get what he need to get from Tyler. Yeah, and he was like, yeah, you know I mean, probably you know, in the middle of something. Yeah, of course, doing some million dollar ass shit. Yeah, and why get I'm, to that type of shit? I'm like, like I'm over here thinking that I'm a breath of fresh air. Yeah, yeah, tell him it's Jack Thriller, Honey Bun. Hey man, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. This is million, do million dollar type shit, bro. Yeah, yeah, what? Put that in your mind. Yeah, one hundred percent. This is this I feel is that million way. dollar platform, yeah. dog. One hundred percent. Oh man, you got, you got. I'm proud of it. You got the green screen. You got twerkers. You got Mike, nigga. You got me, bro. You and I got you. You only went in here got a fan, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else in this building get a fan, dog. That's how cool you is, nigga. Come on, man. Yo, your shit is all decked out, dog. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah this song. You, see the Billy you got a G? DJ? Got a DJ. Oh, come on, man. Hey, 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 I got, a, I got a DJ here on her birthday. On, on her birthday. birthday. On her birthday. Come on, man. Hey, you, what you gonna... wanted to spend time with me on their birthday? Hey, what you gonna do it's for? Going what you gonna do for her since you got her? I already what? told her, we, but, but we doing some butt naked shit after. Well, we oh, all right. Oh, yeah. God. And she wanna dance with Michael Jackson and some shit like that. Let's do it. Birthday shit. All right. Yes, but naked by But yeah, man, yeah, this is this whole shit. And you got you got it going, man. You got your own rug and shit. You see the rug? Yeah, man. Uh I don't know why they put um Will Smith daddy from Fresh Prince on there. <laughs> That's Uncle Phil. <laughs> nah, nigga. Will Smith daddy. Oh, his rug. <laughs> <laughs> what was my nigga name? Uh Daddy O. Nah, oh yeah, Daddy O, but his name in real life, uh Ben Vereen. You look yeah, like Ben Vereen. Yeah, Chicken Bitch Joy. don't call here anymore. Yeah. Yeah, nigga, yeah. we're West Coast shit. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, man. One time for Kendrick, man. That nigga just, I just had to say that. Yeah. yeah. I, I had to post up my old Kendrick stuff, man. You had to, dog. I had to. Sometimes you got to pop out and show, nigga. I had to pop out. That was the caption. Yeah, that's funny, dog. Nigga said Smokey Robinson should have came. Bro. Pop out. What? Come Smoking on. Smoking that smoke. <laughs> Gang banging. Yeah. Hey, how, how did you? How did He's you the only gang banger missing. How, how did you feel about the beef the, uh, between him and Drake? Man, as a, uh, as a West Coast dude. As a West Coast dude, I felt like I'm a Drake fan as well. I felt like he 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 was set up to lose. It was a Royal Rumble, but everybody was like, "We gonna fuck him up," mm -hmm. and he didn't really think that. Mm -hmm. And he spent a lot of time going at a whole lot of people he didn't need to talk about because mm -hmm. it was only one nigga that was gonna do enough to to damage him and he ain't take enough time on it and just thought he could call him short and that shit was going to ride. It was like, nah, this little nigga's diabolical. All little niggas is diabolical. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All little chicks is diabolical. Mm -hmm. So you can't, yeah, so he, um, he's usually really calculated and smart, but the, the, like he lost from the first move in the chess game. Like it was, it was over with. I mean, a couple of songs was like he said some dope shit, mm -hmm. but the way Kendrick was coming at him, you, it couldn't land right. Yeah, it was like if you, if you was telling jokes in, in a comedy show, and right before the punchline, the mic cut out and mm -hmm. it came back on. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It might go over, but it might not. That's that's what was happening. To Drake got you cutting his mic out. One hundred percent. And that nigga, you know what I'm saying? The nigga, you're from the West Coast, man. West Coast. We, we cool until we attack. Yeah, and that's that's what happened. Hey, listen, I ain't gonna even front. Well, he attacked him. When well, nah, Drake said some shit first. What you I, I thought it was some play play shit until I seen okay. the actual um, 
is a pop out show. Oh, and I was like, hold on, this nigga got real gang members in. That's when that's when I finally oh. got scared for somebody. Oh, oh, oh. I, yeah, nah. before that, before that, I was like, yeah. man, these niggas ain't gonna do shit. They oh, gonna be yeah, in the same nah. place he, at the same he's time. He's affiliated like a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. I, right. I forgot. Yeah, you're right. Because from when I used to hang around a nigga, it was always that type of age. But you you don't I don't look at Kendrick like that. Yeah. But it reminded me yeah. when I seen the show mm-hmm. on the uh, on the Amazon mm-hmm. thing. I was like, oh shit, yeah, that this was drunk. dangerous. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was this was a dangerous situation. This was bad. Like, all the game makers like him. Yeah, all of them. Yeah, the reds he and the blues. He couldn't go wrong. He couldn't go wrong, dog. That's and, why they said schoolboy Q hit up J. Cole. Like, you should probably want to step back off this because it's gonna get crazy. That's what happened. Mm-hmm. Hey, oh. hey dog. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. J. Cole, would, that's the most class act thing I ever seen a nigga do. It's going to help his album. Yeah. 100%. That ass whooping wasn't worth it. Yeah, because he didn't even want to be in it. You know I mean? Yeah. His heart yeah. wasn't in it. So he, and, and Kendrick don't have no heart. So. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, so what, what does Drake have to do to get back inside the uh, as his next move? Just to move past this uh, in your eyes. Fuck Kendrick wife on TV. That's all he got. On the last move left. I think Drake, Drake be, that's what he do, though. He be fucking wise. That's why I think LeBron don't fuck with him no more, because he probably tried to try Savannah and think LeBron didn't know. So now LeBron's showing up and playing Kendrick shit. And- he, 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 Drake, the Drake will get inside your girl DM. He would do it. So I'm yeah. sure she was like, look at this nigga. I, I had oh. a couple girls he done did that bullshit. Yeah. yeah. Damn, your chicks? Or like these new? That was mine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was mine. Um, but uh, I don't think that he knew that they were mine. Nah. No. No. Nah. I don't, I don't think you knew that he fucked already. In yeah, that's pretty much how the shit went. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm up here thinking he getting my sloppy. Yeah, shit. no, nigga, that 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 DM was two years old. Yeah, <laughs> I, I got the, I got with homegirls way too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got I got it when they had them faded off. Yo, and that's crazy because I be I do be watching episodes, man, and it would be like chicks in the little galley, the gallery and shit. Like when I'm here, that's crazy. <laughs> Don't give me that Nell Carter look, nigga. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> give me a break, motherfucker. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, 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 it definitely go down. Every, I um, see, man. It's all good. Just I, I, AIMN, man. CGIMN. You know what I mean? The joints that was twerking earlier. Put it hey, back there. No, there's a couple of them going to be on your episode. Yeah, yeah, but they ain't in here. Oh, yeah. I, got, I see what you're saying. Got you. I didn't know you were still single. I've been single since you know me. Get the fuck out of here, for real. yeah. yeah. Oh, so there never was a sing, um, a serious relationship in between that? Yeah, but I didn't think you like knew that. Okay. I don't think you was around. You probably might have still been in New York, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You was with that one girl, though. Yeah, I that think was... was in New York, though. Okay, got you. Right? Got you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She probably was friends with somebody, you know, because she was friends with all the celebrities. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's she up to these days? Good question. Okay. Good question. Okay, okay. Uh, um, so when you break about... Up- about it was a long time ago, before COVID, so shit, that's five years now? Yep, 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 yep. Damn, that's a long time ago. That's crazy. Um, we shot a movie together, like- um, Oh, wow. Like somebody was directing it. I mean, it like, wasn't me and her shooting, but we was in yeah. the same movie. Did y'all know y'all was going to be in the movie together? Yeah, because the person that was directing it was cool with her. She's like one of the co-stars at the yeah, point. she cool she as well. Like, yo, I, 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 um, I want you in this movie, but I just want to let you know I got your ex in here, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was like that type Yeah. But yeah, I don't know what she's doing. She had got married and shit, but I don't think she married no more. Yeah. Hey man, it happens though. Some people just be wanting to get married. That's what I'm seeing with a, a lot of women these days. Yeah. They don't give a fuck if it work or not. They don't want the union part. They, they, they want, want the. I'm not saying part. this is about her. I'm yeah, gonna move no, off no, that, of but just in general, like women, some women just like like the one that they want to show the ring on the yeah, gram. Yeah. They had a wedding, and yeah. afterwards, they don't want to put the work in. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be about the marriage and not the wedding. And a lot of niggas is ultimatumed into Yeah. So it, that's why I like this. <laughs> My cousin going through a divorce just served his uh, old lady papers yesterday. Mm. They going through, you, oh, you met him last week. Yeah, you, you know cuz. Yeah, he did. I just had him yesterday. Damn. Yeah, they, yeah, she had a fun day yesterday. Fun she day. got fired, fired earlier. Oh. An hour later. Oh, an hour later they serve her. Oh Ooh. man, she right. She ain't never signing them papers, nigga. Don't do it. She, they say she ain't got to. Oh, word. She ain't got to sign them. How, how they work? Cause she, they say all she got to do is not show up to shit, mm. and it's gonna automatically go through. Got you. Yeah. Damn, I ain't know that. That's yeah. a good. That's a good jewel for niggas out there. Yeah, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You just keep on all that no contesting bullshit. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And then on top of that too, if it's not if you hadn't been married a long time, that goes into effect also. Okay. But sure, if man. you still having sex with that person, mm-hmm. then that's when it gets sticky. But you gotta prove that you're having sex. Yeah. She gotta prove it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, one hundred percent. You gotta get that video. That's crazy. Just be a nasty judge. He'd be like, "Now look." Yeah, that's y'all fucking right. Show me a video. Yeah, fucking. Yeah, I see what I can do. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. A nasty ass judge take advantage of that rule. So crazy, bro. You got to prove it. Now, what do you think about the concept of of getting married without the whole legality shit? So having the wedding, getting the ring. But then not doing that. That's what I'm saying. I have somebody I could die together with is cool too. Yeah. You know what I mean, that's, that's pretty much the same thing without the paperwork. So if one day we decide that we don't want to be together, huh? Everybody good. Everybody to walk away. Yeah. And like and if I've loved you at some point, yeah. like I ain't gonna never not make sure you straight. Yeah. I ain't gonna let you die. But but if you if you come at me wrong, even then. I hear you talking. I don't get like God with how God worked with me, I don't get to get get back. It be on some like uh, vengeance is mindset of the Lord type shit. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, like every time I try to get get back, it go fucked up. So I no, I ain't saying get back. This is not. I ain't saying get back. But if somebody do some fuck shit to you, like like let's say she she you caught her cheating. Like, oh yeah, no. Oh okay, I get what you're like cutting them off. Yeah, cutting. Them oh, off. I thought you talking about getting revenge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. Tell, yeah, yeah. You like you can have a car and whatnot, and you know you shit. You can have a house too. Mm-hmm. You, you, but I'm not paying. No payments or no shit. Like right, that. No, right, right, no, right. That, that well, I'm saying though, so yeah, that's in the marriage's ways. I'm saying if I was in a situation where I'm with someone for a long time uh-huh. and we kind of common law or whatever and it don't work out, yeah. we can split our separate ways. If yeah. you're struggling, I ain't going to let you struggle because right. I knew that I was probably taking care of you most of this time. So yeah. you gotta, it's yeah. going to take a while for you to get back on your feet. Yeah. You know, I mean, you sell pussy is what I mean. Yo, or you can sell pussy. No, I'm saying that's how you get back on your feet. That's how women get back on their feet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All your exes sold pussy. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and and it, it's put that on the shirt. Yeah. On the shirt. All your exes sold some. When grandmamas too. Mm, that Moms, part. Yeah. All that. But my grandma was always with a nigga, so yeah. You know so she ain't really had to get back out there in the street. Yeah, she knew what time it was. Yeah. She just passed, man. Her and my grandfather actually just passed, man. They was ninety five and ninety three. Been together sixty three years. Together? Um, probably like a week apart. Like they had them separated because um my, my grandfather had uh, broke his hip. And he was see now, and then um, my grandma was in another place. But he just kept asking about her every day until he passed away, because she had passed away like a few days before that. Yeah, God, crazy, right? Like that, Bruh, that type of shit. Oh man, yeah. it's 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 like it's a it's a, like it's bittersweet. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, because you want to be with someone that long and everything, but then you can't imagine the. You know the, the emptiness because somebody got to go first. It, m- yeah, marriage going on, it's going to end. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just two ways. Yeah, yeah. You can get a divorce, or you want somebody got to die. Somebody got to die. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the that's the fucked up part about this shit. It's life, man. Yeah. You're gonna either die alone or be sad when somebody died that you with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, I think I want to be bad. I think I want to be with somebody and find out they died. Yeah. Or let them find out you died. I don't want to. I don't. I don't. For some reason, I don't want to die first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm cool on that. All right. Yeah. You'd rather go through the pain and stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, that's a tough one, man. Yeah, ain't it? That's a tough ass. But now you go first. No, you go. Yeah. First. You go first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we go at the same time. Yeah. We come like on, Hitler girl. One, two. <laughs> That bitch be done pulled your hand away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I see you there. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, you don't know your wife going to hell. Oh, no, hey, don't go without me. Don't go, without don't go to heaven without me, bitch. Don't judge my past. Yeah, yeah damn. Yeah, it, it, your life is funny like that, man. It is, man. Best advice you ever got. Or who did you get it from? Damn. Uh, I can't remember who I got it from. But I, I still use it. Is a nigga gonna be watching this shit, motherfucker? Yeah, you can use it to this day, and even when I, you know, what I mean, if I'm uh, you know, talking to like even the basketball team I used to coach, or you know, uh-huh. what I'm saying if I go to elementary school and or schools and talk to kids, and you know, trying to boost them up or jails and all that shit, mm. um, I always say, don't let nobody fuck you. Great advice. Yeah, I told you that. You do the fucking. That's funny. I told you that. <laughs> you did. I definitely told you that. <laughs> you probably say that every time somebody say, I don't remember who told me that. 
<laughs> I, I've been saying this way before I met you. That's why I know it wasn't you. Bruh, how you know I ain't never came to you in a dream before and said we was going to meet one of You was in my dream, nigga. Come on. It's a nightmare. Oh, and, and, dog. This nigga out of my dream. And I, I was not an extra. <laughs> I wasn't no extra. Beaverine in my fucking <laughs> Yeah. I, I was not an extra in your shit. I was, I was a main character. <laughs> Bro, I don't know. I ain't never. I ain't never. No, I guess so. Like if a nigga's died, this shit the homies or something. But I ain't never had no niggas in my dream. Not like that. Not like hey, that. Hey, when you be fighting your dream, they be white or black. When do, when I when I'm fighting in my dream? Or sometimes you just be ended up fighting a nigga in your dream. I'm, I'm fighting in my dreams all the time, bro. Black though, huh? It's always black people. Yeah. It's always white with me, nigga. For real? That type of time. You really don't <laughs> yeah. like people. I mean, I'm not controlling my dreams, but I, I just don't like racists. So, like, I don't know why. That's why I be thinking. I'm like, damn, I wonder, do anybody else think, dream about fighting other races? I, do you? Because more than likely, if you're in a fight, it's probably going to be with the same race. So that dream will probably pick up on that. But uh, You sure you ain't fa uh, fascinated by, with, with, with uh, racism? Racist people? I be watching documentaries and shit. Fascinated with them? Fascinated with them, like it's a study inside of your head where you you kind of oh, like you're, you're so blimp. So I be blimp watching all the racist that. shit. I do, I do. Yeah. Like uh, I be like, Bill, why? I don't. I, wanna, Why you be I might want to blame my mom. She made me watch Roots twice. She's oh wow, a wild nigga, okay. man. Okay. And then I watched this shit in school. I think I seen this shit three times before I was fucking ten years old. Yeah. That's probably what did it. Mississippi and then for, Miss, Yeah, I have seen that thousand times. Yeah. I had it on VHS. Yeah. And then before I uh, like for a stretch of like a year straight, I'm not even bullshitting. I will. Django was coming on Showtime every night, for like two or three times a day. Mm. And every time I got into bed, that shit would be just coming on. Mm. So I would be. I watched Django for like seven hundred and twenty days straight. <laughs> <laughs> I was falling asleep to Django. Favorite, favorite scene in uh, the Django? When the nigga killed all the white people. I'm talking about that nigga killed the masters. He killed the bitches. Nigga killed the cameraman, the director. Quentin Tarantino died in that bitch. I said, yo, this is the coldest shit ever. This nigga killed every white person on set. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's the coldest shit ever, bro. That will never happen to ever again on another movie. A black dude kill all them white people at once. Man, you out of here. It's Bruh, it. it's you, up. you, uh, I, I got you playing the Django too. I've yeah. been, I've been working out for whatever role they got me in, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Action role and shit. I'm, I'm with it. I'm finna get the, um, finna get the, the hair surgery, nigga. I'm about to get that turkey transplant. Fuck hey, me. bruh. You when I first moved back here before before we did Wildin' Out, uh -huh. I was about to do it. Ooh. I was looking at um different hairstyles. You at Duval. Yeah. I was going to get um, the shit, uh, uh, my hair like genuine. Oh, no, no, no. I ain't talking about that. Oh, what you were talking about? I'm talking about like it's a real transplant. It's like real surgery and shit. And then, it make, then your real hair starts growing back in your head. Me too. Oh, all right, all right. Yeah, I was going to get that. I don't think you get to choose the style of hair. Though. <laughs> it's like whatever hair you got on the back of your head will now be on the top. My, my hair used to be good. Oh, all right, all right. I ain't yeah. know that. All right, baby. Yeah, you, you, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I have really good hair. You can't okay. imagine me having good hair? No, I just ain't, I ain't never seen you with hair, so I ain't know. Oh, no, I did see you with hair like before you would cut it. I guess it was kind of laid down like a newborn. Nigga, a little newborn head ass nigga. <laughs> Wet head ass. <laughs> how, how, how old was you when you first started losing your hair? Too young, bro. I was probably, I think I probably had just got out of college. Probably just got out of college with my nephew. So you like 22, 23? Uh, I would say just then. I'd probably say 23, 24. So I, played, I played basketball in college. I went, I went there for five years. I had a red shirt, so I was a little older when I got out. I was probably like 22. Was it due to like putting um, Bantus and um, S-curls in your hair? I ain't never really touched my hair, bro. I always had waves. Mm -hmm. um, I, sporting waves was the yeah. only thing I ever really did. Uh -huh. um, Obviously, it's just a hereditary thing. I had braids for a little stretch. Yeah, yeah. it's a small stretch though. The, the, the braids told me out the front. Yeah, that's what got you. Yeah, they got. I remember your braids. Yeah, yeah they, they. I, I, I was the only nigga thought I looked cute with them. <laughs> nigga, I had them you on. Just had, yeah, you just had a lot of um, surface area. Yeah, braids, yeah. You know it was a lot of forehead. Yeah, you had a lot of braids. I, I, I look. I was a funny looking dyke looking. Nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was cock diesel dyke. Cock diesel looking like a nigga named Jack. Jackie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nigga Jacqueline. Jacqueline Thriller. <laughs> My rep name was Jack o' Lantern. Jack o' Lantern. We ran out of time, Doc. Yeah. Oh, man, I didn't talk too much. No, you well, was. Check me out on. Oh, go ahead. Uh, last question. Mm -hmm. you, you was on the Big Tigger Morning Show. Oh, good question. Yes, yes, yeah. Well, I mean, what was going why, what, what happened with you and Miss uh, Basketball on there? Man, so we. And what was the experience like? 
So I, you want me to tell you the real story? Uh, yeah. All right. So um, it was COVID happened. You know what I'm saying? And we was all at the crib. And I got the call because Big Tigger actually had interviewed for the job with Tigger. Um, he was in the afternoon. I interviewed that job four or five times already. Mm -hmm. He moves to the mornings. Give me another chance. He was like, "Well, this time it's my show, so I'm, you know, put you on there." So we was, uh, I, I negotiated, and they wanted me to sign on for two years. My manager and I decided to sign on for one, just so I could negotiate a bigger contract the next year because the, the the money was okay, but it wasn't the money I was supposed to be getting as a morning show DJ, VJ in a number one market or region, or whatever. Mm. Um, we were supposed to be Tigger, me, and Delicious. Delicious had went and, and was doing her uh, negotiations. Turns out she didn't end up doing it. She started, she married the nigga that was from the- um, The Five, the Fantastic Five. five. Fantastic Five! <laughs> <laughs> Exonerated Five was their yeah. new name, but they yeah. had like the something Park Five. Yeah, they, when, they, when they saw us. Yeah, when they see- <laughs> Duh. Nigga, so I um so she she didn't take the she didn't take the the, the job, but end up Miss Basketball ended up getting the money that was left over that they was holding for delicious since they made me sign early. They were trying to rush me to sign so they had money left over to sign delicious, ended up giving it to Miss Basketball. Now, I'm on the show writing every, writing everything, obviously, coming up with segments. I got two or three of my own segments. I'm doing parody songs. Some of them shits was hitting like so hard. People kept calling us to make us do them again. I'm doing all that shit. But now I know how much she getting paid. So it's like, oh, no. Nah. I love her, but I don't like this. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I go ahead and say it out loud. I guess I shouldn't do it like that. <laughs> I shouldn't do it at a meeting or whatever. But I have just like, man, shit, y'all up here paying motherfucker more than me and I'm doing everything. You feel me? And they ain't, you know, I, I work by myself. I'm a comedian. I normally, when I have a beef, I just say it out loud and then, and, and, like, I'm HR, I'm everything. So I wasn't, you know what I mean, used to being in that type of situation. And, you know, then the, the ratings weren't all that good. So it was coming time for me to come up and, um, and, re, and, and resign, probably about in a couple of weeks. And I was being my manager talking, I was like, probably not gonna resign because they wouldn't even, oh, boom. And that was another thing because I, you know, I, I, my agreement was that they was gonna give me the machine so I could go on the road and had a machine and like maybe miss a Friday and do the do my comedy shows. So that was happening. And it was like, oh, we ran out of machines that are using it for sports. So they always had an excuse. So they was like, just go. And then I was just going and then coming back and looking and seeing they was taking vacation days from me instead of being like, you know what I mean? Like, we just told you to go. So I was losing vacation day too. So I was like, I'm gonna quit. The nigga was like, Uno, reverse, draw four, bitch ass nigga. We quit, we fire you first. <laughs> so yeah, they fired me like a week before I was gonna quit. You know what I'm saying? I walked in and I was like, ah! Oh! <laughs> Cause I knew what was happening cause like the main niggas was in there and shit. So I walked in, I was like, ah! Oh! And they had let me work the whole day and all that shit. And then Miss Basketball was crying and shit. And did she That's the real story. Did she recover? Oh yeah, she 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 always don't don't do her thing, man. She's like a big brand, a big time brand ambassador. Yeah, she got all the brands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She been going crazy, but you know the radio was helping her get shit. But those platforms that help her get, she still got them. Would you do radio again? I would do my own radio show. I want more than culture to be on Sirius XM, so we can go on there and talk. Oh, you can make that happen, bro. Yeah, I'm working on it. Yeah, you, you shit. I, you, uh, you, yeah, you got a great relationship with Kevin Hart, right? Mmm, I got a greater relationship with Harry Ratchford. That is. Kevin knows, knows who I am. That is. Kevin knows who I am. But. Yes, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Y'all can get that. He definitely fuck with Ronnie. Yeah. Well, they on. They on. Um, are they on, on serious. I heart. Serious, that's right. That's yeah. Right. yeah. They on serious, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they fuck with Ronnie too, because he was writing something. Perfect. Right, COVID ruined everything. Hey, dog, this is this probably just like a phone call away. Nah, for sure. Like literally, yeah. they because he's definitely. But with them though, you gotta have you got to have your ducks in a row the very first time you tell them about something because somebody's telling them about something every single day. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's true. So they'd be like, "Well, what about this? What about that?" And you don't have an answer. Yeah, that shit's probably dead. 
Yeah, but you you are got radio experience, so that's gonna be a cakewalk for you. To yeah, 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 for sure. But I'm just saying, like, our, something numbers wise for our podcast. Ah, uh, gotta have that uh, together. See that that numbers game. Mm-hmm. That's when it get tricky. That's what it ain't got nothing to do with Harry. Then. Yeah, that's when it's yeah, serious. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, so dog, this ain't the um the um the last time you are gonna be here, man. But it's first time. Yeah, bro. have some hoes next time, bro. Cause that's some. Bullshit. Would you Would you like some hoes? What? what? Oh. Do you know who I am? Okay, we gonna goddamn we gonna make that happen for you. Because they, they asked about it three times. Yeah, they they, they, they said when you came in, you like, hey, the hoes got to go, though. <laughs> what well, them, well, them hoes? Nah, <laughs> Do I smell a hoe? <laughs> nah, they was all good. I was just playing them girls look good too early. I just... I know you are. Hopefully they know I'm a comedian and I'm joking around. Yes, yeah, 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 100%. They, 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 they are very friendly young ladies. Yeah, they was. Parts of gold. Posted. Um, one of them just posted me and shit. Damn. Now we took a little picture. In there. Damn, you gonna fuck? Okay. No, I was fucking. I was fucking. That's the post. Oh, I was already, I already beat. Uh, hey, hey, because you, you the oh, what, what's that club, man? Where you the you is that nigga at the flame? Oh yeah, they fuck with you at the flame. I, I, I know you a track star over there. Shout out to the flame and Magic City. I don't want to forget them. Oh yeah, those 100%. are my two main clubs. But that's yep. That's where I write most. It of was my a girl clubs. that was here mm-hmm. that shouted you out in one of the goddamn Jack Beauty of the Weeks. Oh word. Yep. Yeah. yeah, she was. What she had said? She, she said, um, "What's her name?" Uh, oh. God damn it! Uh, what's my home? Oh, Kelly. Kelly. Yep, yep. Magic. She was Magic City um, back in the day. You know? Yeah, but she from LA though too. Yeah, but so she from Watts. Yeah, yeah she yeah, love the, you, boy. That's the homie, man. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell she yeah. think Clayton looked like you. Hmm. That's interesting. Clayton English. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. No, we, 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 I've never gotten that one. Yeah. Shout out to Clayton, man. One hundred percent. I go watch the English majors, man. Yeah. On the 85 app. Anything you want to say to New Jack Dula City, man, before we uh, get out of here, my boy? Uh, Yeah, man. You was asking me about promoting stuff earlier when we get mm-hmm. down. Yeah, uh, yeah man. Uh, Wild and Out is on TV right now. Check that shit out. Um, uh, BMF, season three. Tap in with that. You were on there? Yeah, what? Oh, yeah. Damn, bro. Hold on. You was just on the season. I just got to tell this nigga. <laughs> Hold on. You, you... You was just on this season. You episodes on season three, man. Who you was on there? So, all right, I'm a Detroit nigga. I was one of the dope dealers that worked for the Dyke Joint. All right? From for Harry. Oh, uh, Harry. Uh, Harry. Henry. Henry. But then T was trying to flip some of us and yep. make us work for him. Yep. He was talking about he had better product and all that shit. That's right. It was a nigga with a box yep. sitting down. A nigga yep. in the middle with a bald head talking to him. That's right. And another nigga on the side. You was the nigga on the side? No, I was the nigga with a bald head talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was the only one talking in this thing. Bro, I'm finna go back and listen to that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in. Yo, congratulations. Now, thank you, dog, for real. That was, that was big, man. Like, I knew how big that show was, but I didn't fully appreciate how big that show was till I was on it and mm-hmm. what happened to my phone after that. Yeah, oh, bro, listen. That's that's Atlanta culture for real. That's that's yeah. hip hop culture. That's hip hop culture. But just people just watching in general yeah. that don't even know nothing about it. That's Atlanta. right. Just, that's just right. Like, and so then there's huge. that. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty got it going with all the shit he doing. Yep. So, yep. Um, but yeah, got that. Uh, like I said, the movie I wrote coming out top five. Um, be out soon. Um, uh, departments. Check that out. It's, it's on All Black Network now. It used to be direct to consumer, but now you can go tap in with it on All Black. Mm. Uh, and this summer, um, well, shit, in a few weeks, I guess, whenever the Olympics are, speaking of Kevin Hart, he produced a show called The Other Summer Games. And uh, I'm on that motherfucker. It's going to be on. My NBC. dog working. Yeah, yeah. NBC and Peacock, man. So y'all tap in. Roy Wood Jr. is the host. Shout out to Roy Wood. That's the homie, too. So, um, yeah, that's that's everything. And then, you know what I mean, at Tyler Chronicles. on High High Mafia. High High Mafia will be at a city near you, man. We're going to be at City Wineries as well. So, me, man, just check in. I'm doing a City Winery too also. That's what I'm going to be calling. Oh, let's go. About that goddamn. Yeah, bro. And then, yeah. And then I'll be hitting you about that goddamn. Okay. So I know you couldn't see what I was doing, but. I th- nigga, I know what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I ain't even here no more. You don't know that. Uh, <laughs> I'm on the phone, nigga. You don't even know I left. Um. But yeah, yeah, Tyler Chronicles on everything so you can tap in and see what where I will actually be on the road. And then More Than Culture is a podcast. Subscribe, tap in. There it is. That part. Hey, DJ Phoenix, take us on out, man. Tyler DJ Phoenix, happy birthday. Let's take some pictures, my boy. Let's get it. <laughs>